Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to lesson 15 in the Arabic series. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, carrying on from last time, we were joining an al-dhamir, a pronoun to an ism, to, an, to a noun. And uh, so this is kind of a, doing it in a more structured way with a table uh, before we just go on to some a conversation. Uh, and then, yeah, that will be for today's lesson. So, we have al-dhamir, a pronoun. So this is like I, we, he, she, you, the male, this is for a single person, you, you're talking to one person, and you for a female. So we have Anna, Anna for him, I am for him, Nahnu for we, he, Hua for he, she, Hia for she, and Anta and Anti for you. Now when we join on, we can join an ism to these uh, Lomirs, so we can start being possessive about the actual noun, the ism that we mentioning. So when we do that, when this Dhamir is joined, then we don't say, like I'm going to use two examples, Kitab and Bait. So if I say Kitab, I'm not going to say Kitabu Ana, the book of my book. I'm not going to say Kitabu Ana. I will say Kitabi. Yeah, so we do not use these in the unjoined fashion. We use it with a joined fashion, which is, it converts into a Ya for Ana, a Na for Nahnu, that's that plural for us, we, who for hua, ha for hia, and ka and ki for anta and anti respectively. So we're gonna join these together and see how they. We've seen how they form in some of the. Uh, we use the. Um, this is for the single. So kita we have kutub as the plural form and bait buyut as the plural form. We don't use the plural forms today. So last time session was using plural forms as well as using the Lamar. So today's session is a bit more going to be more easier because we're using singular uh, nouns and we're using the pronouns for that to join and see how it joins. Right, so first one you have Kitab. So all of these will be Kitab and this all will be Bait, but they will be joined on with a pronoun. Now we're going to try, start to say, for book we're going to say my book, our book, her book, his book, your book, both male and female. And similarly with Bait as well. So the first one we have Kitab. And I'm going to not write the ba fully as it would normally be by itself. So we have the ba, and I'm going to say kita bi, kita bi, and that is my book. Next one, we have nahnu, so we say kitab, and again the ba, I'll leave it to join on to something else which will be the na na kita buna so here I have kita b because it has a, is a ya at the end to have a kasra the before on the letter that's before is makes it easy and the arabs you would use the, the most easiest form they don't make things complicated kita b kita buna so although a vomma so a normal situations if I'm just going to introduce an ism to you a noun I'm just going to say with the lomma at the end so when I have here kitab and bait they normally just have a lomma in this case lomma tain I haven't really covered this part yet but uh, we can do so now right bait a house kitab a book where he said if you put any flower in front of it al bait the house al kitab the book, so we specified something that was unspecified. Normally, when it doesn't have the alif lam, we have a thing at the end, we call it tanween. So, either it's going to have two lommas, lommatain, two lommas is lommatain, two fathas, the zabbers, fathatain, two kasras, kasratain, so it's going to be baytun or baytan or baytin. That's it's normal how it would normally be. Uh, when I say normally, actually this is the only thing it will normally be. Without ha Grammar is always about the end and it depends on what's the word before it. We don't have anything before it. This just I'm in introducing a noun. I'm just saying the noun by itself, in not in a sentence. When you start putting in a sentence, you have words before it, you have words after it. So it's what is before it that affects what, how it changes. Is it going to go to, uh, will go change to beitan or beitin? That's the main two things. Because normally it always stays Beitun. Now the only thing is when you put Alif Lam, that Tanween 
So we're saying, again, I'm giving you just a word, al bayt, but it'll be al bayt too. So one of the tanweens is basically taken off. When you introduce alif lam, tanweens are removed. There's no tanweens that exist with alif lam in the front of it. So when alif lam comes on any word, you'll always see there'll be never a tanween, whether it's al baytan, al baytin, al baytun. None of those will ever exist. It'll be al baytu, al bayti, and al bayta. So in this case, in its original, without anything changing a word, the grammar of a word will be in its normal state, a dhamma or a dhammatain if there is no alif lam. So that's how it's going to be. I'll remove the alif lam so not to confuse us. And you see in the examples, I haven't really brought in the uh, the two dhammatains. I just, whatever word it was, bait, I just said bait. Just not to confuse and let's not bring that into the lesson at the moment. But that's something we will touch upon later on. So, right, so if you just carry on, kitabi. So here, kitabu now is saying, that only has that one because there's no alif lam in front of al kitab. We only have one, and because we're joining a uh, to uh, a noun to an uh, to a dhamir, we don't have alif lam. So we'll, uh, we'll never also have al kitabi, al kitabuna. No, you, you, uh, anything with al will never join onto something else. It, 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 it can't. So without alif lam, so it's not specified. Because you, otherwise you say the my book, so you can't spell you know so using my book or my the book. You, you don't you don't say that. So kitabi kitabuna, and normally we'll have this unless in most cases you should all have that as well. Kitabuna carry on his book. So he so we was our book. So we change that to our our book. Next one we have is. Hu, huwa, so that's going to be kitabu hu. Kitab, and then the ba will join on to a ha. Hu, so it looks like a tamar buta one, but it's not going to have the two dots because it's not a tamar buta, it's a ha. Kitabu hu. Again, see, you can notice these ones. They're going to be in a similar fashion. It's only in this case it doesn't. Kitabu hu, his book. For her book, here goes to her, Kitabu Ha. Kitabu Ha. Her book. So, Kitabu Ha. Yes, Hassan, do you want anything? Next one we have is you, no, Anta, to for the male. I said, you? okay, just quiet, you, just be there at the back, quiet please. Kita, it, so Anta, Kita, Anta changes to Ka, so Kita, Buka. And then the Ba joins on to the Ka. Can you close the door, Hassan, please? Kita buka your book to a male and finally kita buki which should fit in just about I'll write it like this kita bu I said no noise Kita buki for auntie. Your book. Masculine and feminine. Finally, you're going to ba, so the same thing. And again, the ta, I'm not going to finish off. So bait, to So again, if you just see this part, you'll see it'll be. A dhamma there, a dhamma there. Yeah, in its original sense, apart from in this case, they all have the dhammas there. Right. So, baiti. We have 
בין תונה If you've chosen a word that has not many dots, Beituna, Beituhu, Beituha. And Beituka and Beituki. Beit. Beit. Ka. Ki. Beiti. My book. Beituna. Our book. Beituhu. His book. Beituha. Her book. And Beituka and Beituki for your book for male and female. Right, so let's move on to a bit of a conversation. And that is sometimes Arabic courses they start off with this first uh, kind of conversation to get to know each other. So just Introduction to conversations. And when we start our conversation, we'll start with Assalamu alaikum. So you're saying the salams, yeah? With the al there, Assalamu alaikum. You can see there's only one which I've been explaining. It's not the mean. Assalamu alaikum. Hassan? Can hear you? Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, peace be upon you. Greetings of peace be upon you. Wa alaikum. Assalam. And upon you. Peace. Greetings back. Wa alaikum assalam. Anna, so this is now using the pronoun, not joined to a Dhamir, so we're using, uh, not joined to a ism. Anna, I am Kamal. My name is Kamal. Ibrahim. My name is Kamal Ibrahim. Man, this is a new word. Man, this means who. We've seen min. Min is from. I think we've seen min, yeah. Man it means who. And again, another dhamir. This is outside of not joined to an ism or anything. Not joined to a noun. Man anta. So I said, Ana, Kamal. And now we're asking, who are you? Man anta. Who are you? And then the person answers Anna Samir Anna Samir I am Samir Muhammad I am Samir Muhammad Waman hiya. So this is another pronoun coming. Waman hiya. So just underline the pronouns we're using. Anta for male. Anta. And then who are you? Waman hiya and who is she? Waman again who? He. Uh, Anna has been used here. Anna has been used here. Yeah. Waman hiya. And then here, so we answer with the same here. So another pronoun. 
She is here. Leila Ahmed. She is Leila Ahmed. And this final two. كيف كيف الحال؟ كيف another new word means how. كيف means how. كيف الحال؟ كيف الحال؟ يا is to call somebody. Ya o Layla. Ya Layla. How are you, O Layla? And she answers Bihair. Bihair Alhamdulillah. So here, Alhamd, the praise, you can see Alif Lam, Alhamdu, only have one, it's not going to have a Tanween, Lilla, and I'll bring the screen down, Lilla, Alhamdulillah, I am well, Bikhair, I am well, Alhamdulillah, right. That was a good plan. Thank you. Right, so just bring this down a little bit. There. So, Assalamu Alaikum, Wa Alaikum Salam, Ana Kamal Ibrahim, Man Anta, who are you? Ana Samir Muhammad, Woman here. Here, Layla Ahmed, she is Layla Ahmed. Kayf al Hal, Ya Layla, Bikhair, Alhamdulillah. And we can end the session on this.